Right now we are in uh, Friedrichshof, in uh, what was the center of the city, and this is the church of uh, Friedrichshof. And uh, we're going to try to see if we're going to find a graveyard where we find some uh, names of my uh, grandparents, Jonsek and Linka. And then I'm going to show you a little more about Friedrichshof. Here we are at the entrance to the church. And uh, so here you can see the length of the walkway going up to the church. And all those buildings here look fairly young. But I could imagine this m may have been a school and uh, this is like the marketplace and up there you can see this is where you turn right to go to uh, Farinen, which uh, our grandparents, uh, which is where our grandparents uh, lived and worked. So everything looks fairly modern. The only older building appears to be the church, but uh, it's a small city. Uh, we still have not found the cemetery, so we're going to see if we uh, can spot it later on. All right, and just a couple of hundred feet further north of the church, we found the cemetery. And this looks fairly new. We still have to see if it has like older graves. Maybe it does. Uh, but so far, this is fairly exciting. Uh, like this is obviously the new section. And hoping by going further, further up this way, it looks like there are some older graves. And let's see if we find some uh, names that we're familiar with. And Fasida has found something. She just called me over. And I hope she's not screwing with me, but uh, let's see. Let's see what she found. Okay. Yeah? What did you find? Jonsek? Jansik. Huh. Yeah. Her name was Charlotte Jansik. Uh, wow. Sabowski? Is that me, her maiden name? No. Wow. That's something. It says here is here lies. Here in, in God. Uh, here lies in God, our beloved mother and wife, Charlotte Jansik. Born Sarkovsky. Huh. Are you looking for a different spelling? Uh, no, I wasn't, but. It's your, na it's your last name. It's just spelled yeah. differently. No, it's super interesting. It's uh, Jansik. This happens a lot in America, you know, there's variations on the yeah, spelling yeah. of the last oh, name. People don't know how to, sp to write it, yeah? Yeah. Wow, this, is, this, this might, I mean, who knows? But <laughs> would be worth looking into this one, Jansik. So after a short drive from uh, Friedrichshofen, we have arrived in Farinen, and today it's called Farini. And there's already a cemetery in the background that Fasida found, so we're gonna... And another cemetery. And there's another one over down this way. And uh, so it looks like there are those uh, birch trees surrounding uh, the city. And now we're gonna check it out and see what Farina looks like. or something it's on the city um. all well, right now we are at the city center of uh, uh, Farinen and this seems to be a school maybe uh, in the back there is a playground and a soccer field and this is where the three the three roads merge in the city So, the city is really not very big, it's just uh, those houses here are fairly modern and uh, very uneventful, I might say. And uh, the older part is if you come down from this road, this is actually south, and we came up this road, and if you go up there, this is where you actually see the older part of town with the old buildings and also the, the barn that I showed you. Um, 
What's also very interesting is uh, that we found a building here that is actually dated 1908 and it's this red building right there and if you go in and you look at the number you see that this one was built in 1908 oh yeah there you go 1908 and uh, my grandfather Paul Gustav he was born in 1910 so this building has been standing two years uh, before he was born and um, has been standing ever since. As you come past the city center, you drive down this one road and uh, this is where you can see the older part of town, if you want to call it a town. So for example, here we have like a very old house, wooden structure, small windows. And uh, here behind me, you can see this is a, a farm. Now, I don't exactly know where my grandparents lived at, but I know that the job title of uh, Paul Gustav, my grandfather, it was uh, Stallmeier, which means um, head of the barn. And so, since it's not a farmer, but cattle, so it could have been this very building where he worked. I don't know for sure, but there are only like three barns here in Farinitz. So just a couple of hundred feet away from the entrance of Farinen, which is where we actually took the photos and the welcome uh, shot over there, um, is the old uh, cemetery. And uh, it actually says this is the old Evangelic Augsburgische uh, Cemetery. And uh, if this date is right, it basically goes back until 16... 62. So uh, this is again the road leading into Farinen and on the way there's this old cemetery and the gate is gone and uh, now we're trying to see if we find some uh, names. It's really hard to find a, a tombstone here or to actually read them. They are uh, so uh, covered up from the weather and moss and it's not that easy. I have a feeling that somewhere here has to be one. They just lived long enough here and this is the old cemetery so they have to be buried here. But it's just impossible to say where. Well, there's just uh, no tombstone here with the name Jonzek. Well, the reasoning why it's so hard to find is that it's probably not one of those fancier uh, tombstones like this because of the profession, Stallmeier, uh, that's not a very high income job or a high income family. So uh, I think that those nicer ones uh, for the more wealthier families that were able to afford the nice tombstone and uh, the Jonsek family may have had uh, wooden crosses that of course are long gone or if it is a stone, it would be flat in the ground and then covered up uh, with snow. And there's just no way of finding it. So uh, we tried and I know I'm like this close, but sometimes you just have to say uh, it didn't work out. It just so here we are in uh, Groß Spalinen, or today's name in Poland is Spalini. And uh, Groß Spalinen is where my grandmother comes from and her last name was Linka. The drive, uh, so we basically come in from this road over there. The drive is uh, from Farinen, uh, you drive like uh, three to four minutes to uh, Rosogi. And from there it's about uh, eight minutes to get here to Spalinen. Now we're going to drive around, see if we find a cemetery here and get a little feel for what this city looks like. Groß Spalinen sounds actually like Great Spalinen, uh, but it seems to be also a very small city. But let's see what we find out.